I already showed you how to get Excel data using list objects or SQL query in VBA. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Excel data using Python. So, in today's video, we will be using the financial sample data so the same data as in previous videos and um, Python. So to program in Python, I'm using PyCharm. It is really convenient because during the installation of the PyCharm, uh, there is also uh, installation of the Python environment. So the PyCharm is handling all the stuff uh, connected with the uh, language itself. So really convenient uh, solution. Uh, you can also, of course, use Visual Studio Code, uh, just uh, what you like, what you want. So let's start with the uh, coding part. So uh, in the beginning, uh, let's create a project for that. So the new project in the file, call it financial sample, press create, yeah, this window. And uh, now we can get rid of uh, all of nest unnecessary stuff. So those lines, those, uh, let's leave it like that. And first of all, uh, maybe let's uh, copy, copy the financial sample data. Mm, copy, yeah, copy. And paste to the project. So paste here, yes, okay. And thanks to that, I don't have to uh, put a whole path for this file, just only the name and extension. First of all, first thing in this, uh, in this project is we need to get the reference to the library, which we will use uh, to get the Excel data, uh, which is the pandas library. So first of all, we need to import this, import pandas as uh, pd, so we are giving the alias uh, pd, and uh, you can see uh, that it's, it's a, a red line under, uh, under the pandas name, and let's see why, because I don't have uh, this package installed on my computer, so if you have the same case as me, just click here, and the installation is uh, going in the background. So uh, meanwhile, um, let's start to create uh, the name of the uh, function. So in Python, uh, to create function subroutine, uh, you need to uh, use the def word. And let's go with the name, count rows for and uh, as in previous examples uh, we want two filters so the country and the minimum uh, manufacturing price uh, so country and we can here give the variable type so a string and the manufacturing price as integer and after the parenthesis just go with the colon and we can start with this function as you can see the pandas library is already installed so that's okay that's cool we are good to go and the first thing we need to open uh, this excel file using the pandas library so we need to create the uh, data data frame object so let's start and now the alias of this pandas library so pd and here we can 
or use uh, one of the one of the build functions which is read excel and open the brackets and inside um, just paste the path to the uh, Excel data. You can go with the name of this parameter and go with the whole the path or in like 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 this case, like in this case, uh, we got this Excel file inside of this project. So it's enough to go with uh, the name. And also you can uh, paste here the uh, worksheet name of this, uh, where, where the data is. So in, in our case, it's not really necessary because uh, there is only one sheet uh, in uh, this financial sample, but let's go with that. So the worksheet is named sheet one, okay. So uh, already the data, Excel data is already loaded in and now let's create the filters for this data. So um, let's go with the filter and the filters, there, there will be two filters. So uh, let's create those filters and uh, in case of the pandas filters or I mean data frames filters uh, there is a need that this uh, and sign not the and as a word it's really important to remember I'm talking to you from the experience I had already plenty of issues connected with this so first filter uh, will be uh, the country filter so now uh, you need to pass the column, uh, country column. So financial sample and in square brackets, the name of this column for the country. So country and here, if country is equal to the variable country, and in case and in Python, you need to remember if you are comparing things, you need to use the two equal signs, not only one. So the country variable. And the second filter, which is about the manufacturing price. And in this case, almost the same. So first of all, the data, so the financial sample and the column, which is um, uh, I forgot about those uh, manufact manufacturing price and which is bigger than the variable manufacturing price. Okay, filter is uh, ready. And now uh, in the result uh, variable uh, we are going to measure the amount of rows of this data frame with the Excel data. So to do that, we are going to use the len uh, function. So it's really easy. Uh, len brackets. And here what we are want, what we are going to uh, measure. So the data, so financial data with the uh, already created filter and it's almost done and now to return the value the value from the um, python function we need to use the return phrase so not the name of the function like in vba but the return phrase and here we are um, creating the output of this function so um, to make it easy and um, in this return uh, phrase I, or, or string, which will, which, where we'll be uh, mixing the strings and the variables, uh, we're gonna use the uh, F uh, letter before the string. So uh, thanks to that, we will uh, be able to implement 
variables in easy way and I'm going to show you uh, how to do that so country uh, column and those brackets here country so we are formulating the same output as in previous functions and the previous videos so first of all country uh, let's remind uh, uh, input country manufacturing minimum price double the uh, here the manufacturing price semicolon and the amount and here the result variable and now uh, let's uh, test this function so in main model um, let's print so not the debug print but only print brackets and here pass the name of this uh, function so controls for given parameters and here with the same uh, input data as in previous videos so the Canada and 100 and the second test for this function is the Germany and 200 okay let's let's try that so you can use this play button and use the run or this one in the right top corner let's go with run main and tons of uh, tons of errors because we don't have uh, as you can see uh, open by XML Excel uh, environment so we need to go to the terminal and what was uh, wait a second it was uh, open by okay so let's copy this and if I remember correctly it's uh, enough to type PIP install open by uh, XL press enter and or maybe not so if you can't remind yourself uh, how to do this because you did that uh, a long long time ago and this is the fresh machine uh, so if you don't remember those comments just try with the manual stuff not the terminal stuff so the file and here on uh, the settings and in the settings go to the project and the python interpreter and here in the python interpreter you can see the packages installed and it's cool and here you can we can see the uh, openpy xl as the terminal uh, warned us about uh, with the red font so let's try with this install and uh, find here open by excel okay so it's here so let's uh, try with this and see what's gonna happen open package open by excel installed successfully so probably now we are good to uh, go and test this function so let's press uh, run and yeah these are the results which is which are exactly the same as in the previous videos so as you can see uh, here comes the Python as the another alternative to get the Excel data real fast and simple the pandas library I can recommend it for you it's really really good alternative for the VBA approach and this is just a simple example so the not very big data not so many uh, rows uh, in the Excel data in the Excel table 
but this uh, pandas is showing its uh, possibilities in really really big files and big tables uh, we are and we are talking about uh, uh, not really hundreds or thousands, but or rather millions of rows. The performance is much, much uh, better than the VBA, uh, but uh, also what I already uh, found that it's struggling with the opening, uh, with the opening of the big Excel files. So in that case, um, if you have big tables, oh. so a big data, uh, try to use the CSV uh, extension, uh, which is also better for the VBA because it's opening much faster than the Excel uh, file, but the performance uh, is, is much, much better, especially for the Python. So this is all for this video. Uh, if you got any questions, please leave it down below. So uh, thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.